In this video, I'm going to be talking about a few easy and simple tricks that you can use to make the chorus of your song immediately sound better. So, let's get started. So I have this track that I've been working on, and I wanted to show you a specific trick that I did um, that I think actually like, made the chorus in this one a lot better in my opinion than if I didn't use this. And real quick, I'll show you what I mean, and I'll play it so you can have a little bit more of context here. So you, I'm assuming you probably know, just from listening to that, when the chorus started. And you might also know because I had it grouped, but uh, you know, oh well. So anyway, if I look at the drums down here, you'll see that specifically I want to look at these four elements right here. So let's go ahead and go back, and I kind of want to mute out just the drums that I'm looking at here. And if we go ahead and listen, you'll hear... So let's go ahead and break down what's actually happening here. So obviously the first thing that I have is I have this sound here, which sounded kind of like a some sort of riser. And that, of course, is for to give a sense of tension, like, oh, something's coming up soon. And of course, I also have probably the main three things here that are very important, and that's the reverse elements. And all three of them together, Reverse elements are actually a really good way of helping with the transition of going from verse 1 to the chorus, or pre-chorus to the chorus, if you're doing a pre-chorus. And specifically, the DAW that I'm using here is Cakewalk, but it should be pretty easy to do with any other DAW as well. And I'm just going to do something really simple here. I'm going to open the piano roll, and I'm going to find a drum sound that I like from this. So specifically, I'm going to do this one. Really simple, right? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the reverb up a lot, like as much as I possibly can. You don't have to do this, but this way I can get a little bit more tail end on it. How do you actually like reverse this? I mean, because that's obviously what we want from this. We want it to be reversed. We don't want it just like this. Otherwise, that's not really a reverse element. And from Cakewalk here, it's actually really simple and you should be able to do it pretty simply in other DAWs as well. But in Cake, all you have to do is you just have to freeze this by pressing this button here. And what that does is it, it changes this MIDI into audio. So, and now if we listen to it, it's the exact same thing. But again, we are getting a lot closer because now it's audio. Because you can't reverse MIDI, of course. So I'm just going to shorten this a little bit. And then I'm going to actually reverse it. And it's actually really simple to do is you just have to make sure that the track that you want to reverse is highlighted like this. If you go to process up here and apply effect and you'll see reverses right down here. So we click that, it'll reverse it for us. And now if we listen to this, that's actually what we want, right? So I'm going to delete this real quick because I don't need this. And another thing that I want to mention is that I didn't just have one drum sound in there. Because with that, it would be like... It's, it still helps a lot than having nothing in there. But it also helps to layer things. Like, for example, I have, again, the one you just heard. I also have it layered with this one and this one down here. And again, all of them together adds so much more thickness to it than if it was just one. And obviously just from these few elements, we see that it makes actually a pretty big difference in my opinion. So of course that is one way that is really good to kind of get what you want out of your chorus. And again, this won't always fit with your track that you're making. So again, it just kind of depends on what the song needs, but for the most part, something like this can help you out massively. And obviously there are a couple other ways you can do to make your chorus even better, and that is to use instruments that add a lot to the track. And specifically, what I want to show specifically is this guitar in here that I have. It sounds like this. And again, on its own, it sounds kind of meh. So I'm going to mute that out. So again, we can kind of have a comparison here. And I'm going to show you the transition with and without it. And then with. And 
again, that uh, that feel that adds quite a bit in my opinion. And I also added a lot of like little like handbell type things in there. Like I have this one layered with a music box. And I also added uh, another piano sound, which actually helped a lot. Because I have, originally it was just this. You know, very, very mellow piano sound, very kind of melancholy, you know. Then I added this one though in the chorus. And obviously that helps a lot too, because just adding things like that, and again with it muted. Especially like in here, it feels a little empty, you know, it's just kind of like, eh. Um, but when you add this in here, it adds a lot more to it. And again, you just kind of have to experiment with instruments and try adding a few, especially ones that have a lot of kind of like almost like hit to them, you know, like for example, the guitar that I showed you, because um, that can actually add a lot to it as well to make it hit harder. And on that note, be sure to watch this video that YouTube recommends for you and I'll see you next time.